know, you've been in a lot of life threatening situations. I mean, that's what you do for a living, basically. Um, is there one that stands out where you had some lessons learned that became, you know, uh, pretty valuable for you as you moved forward in your career? Was there that one moment where you're like, holy shit. And then you're like, okay, I'm not doing this, this, or this again, or maybe, okay, now I'm doing this, this, and this forever. <laughs> you're talking about the racing world? Like, yes, please. I wrecked a truck, truck series. I'm a rookie. Like, I know exactly what you just asked. And yeah. I wrecked at Kentucky Speedway. And it, it spun around on me. I was running fourth, right in the mix for the win. And it hit the driver's side up against the wall. And the truck stopped. I look up in the mirror and I'm like, oh, look, truck's on fire. Huh. Probably should get out now. <laughs> oh, shit. I drop the window net. I, I climb out. Everything's in slow-mo when it happened. Right. Yeah. And then I see the video of it as I get back to the, to the hauler, you know, change my clothes. I see the, the race replay. I'm like, I jumped out of that thing. Like, 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 like I look like Tasmanian devil getting out of that. <laughs> and then the team wanted to get on my butt, you know, because I wrecked the truck and I'm like, no, you guys had a bad pit stop. And they're like, no, no, you wrecked the truck. I'm like, no, you had a bad pit stop. I was on fire. Did you see that stuff? They're like, why would you even bring that into it? I'm like, no, I just survived this, this whole death moment or this whole like big wreck. And now you're blaming me. I'm blaming you. And then like the team owner shows up the next day. Hey, I need you to go and break down these three trucks. I need you to take all the suspension off all these trucks. I'm like, do you know that the pit crew had a bad pit stop? Like I'm just going off, you know, like <laughs> continuing to ramble. And Jack Roush was not hearing any of it. Right. And Jack Roush is, a, I would say, strongly background minded, committed to our military. And it was a lesson of here, go, go fix these trucks, go take these trucks apart uh, because you're going to work on this and you're going to forget that your pit crew screwed up and you're going to learn something from this. And you're going to learn how to drive in those situations so that you don't wreck in the future. That was a big moment. And I haven't wrecked in, in that same fashion. I've thought about things when I get in those split second moments as I'm racing now from, from all that. Wow. Yeah. That's a good one. Now on fire. That's yeah. That, that probably wasn't fun though. Right. <laughs> uh, just the truck was on fire. I, I was yeah. okay. <laughs> You're just running away from the fire. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, look, it's on fire. <laughs> yeah, a little moment there. <laughs> all right. So kicking it off. Here we go. Simulator right. or racetrack? Racetrack. Racetrack. Yeah, I figured. Uh, okay. Shake or bake? <laughs> uh -huh, bake. <laughs> All right. I think I know the answer to this one. We're just getting warmed up, by the way. Ford or Chevy? <laughs> um, Non-disclosed. <laughs> if, you, if you had a moment where you had to say a bad word, would it be, fuck? Or shit. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. That just rolls off the tongue so much easier. <laughs> All right. Bad press or good press? Uh, good press, usually. <laughs> yeah. But bad press can do wonders for you, right? <laughs> I heard that early on. I still don't like it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ass or boobs? Oh. Um, I... I'm a waste guy. Waste. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll circle back around right. to that one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll go boobs then. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, golf or hunt. Ooh, that one's, that one's 50, 50. We're going to have to circle back around on that to use your word. All right. Uh, a side by side or a motorcycle? Uh, side by side. Yeah. All right. Fly or drive. Drive. Outlaw or lawmaker? Outlaw. 556 five, or 762? I don't know if those are area codes or like Ferrari numbers <laughs> or different <laughs> cars. Uh, no, no, uh, no decision. 
they are they're they're basically just NATO rounds. I figure maybe if you're a hunter, five five six is equivalent to a two two three round, seven six two hunter. Okay, we'll skip it. That's gotcha. okay. you might be pushing me towards golf then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. And then uh this one you'll love, okay. Kurt or Kyle? Kurt. <laughs> I right. even ask. Yeah. All right. Let's circle back around to the whys. Okay. So that wasn't too bad, right? No, not at all. That was good. All I right. like it. Is it. Do you have a more memorable or maybe uh, embarrassing bad press moment that you were like, damn. So the one that set the tone for me that I didn't even try to do. Yeah. I got wrecked at Indianapolis by this veteran driver and I jumped out of the car, you know, I'm 23 years old. And I had just come from short track racing, short track racing. When you wreck somebody, the, the officials and the flag men, they, they point to the rear end, they pat their, their rear and they say you to the back, you know, you got to go to the back of the pack because we called you out black flag. Uh, so I got wrecked by a veteran and I jump out of the car and I'm like, you back of the pack to the other driver. This is national television, <laughs> tens of millions of viewers. They don't know regular short track racing. I don't yeah. know that. Like, no, it's like, I just told the guy to go to the back. They're like, Oh, that was kiss my ass. I'm like, no, not, not, not one percent of that was telling that driver to kiss my ass. That that's <laughs> some bad, good press right there. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I gotcha. Now, now that's kind of a, that's a protocol kind of etiquette thing in, in, in your world. Are there any other like unknowns like that, that you learned over the years? Like, Oh, I didn't know that that meant that once you switch in, switch in and out, of, like you say, from short track to something different. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of small things. Uh, it's hard to like jump back to short track and, and the beginning of, of, cup uh, cup levels, you know, like top series yeah. level and to think about it all. I mean, I got the middle finger from Dale Earnhardt senior and you know, <laughs> like he passed away 20 years ago and I still get to hear about it. It's like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I was the last guy he gave uh, the finger to you're going to interview the other 1,999 that, that went through it too. Yeah. Well, I'd know, say that's an honor and cool. a privilege, right? It's all part of it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's good stuff. You're listening to Can You Survive This Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Please make sure to subscribe, rate, and share on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your favorite shows. 